we're gearing up for fall and autumn season, which is many of our favorite seasons. I know fall and winter are my favorite seasons. So, one of the ways you refine your personal style is by analyzing some of your old outfits. So as I start thinking about what I want my fall and autumn wardrobe to be, I pull out some videos and some photos of previous outfits and analyze them. So it's important to analyze your older outfits because you can see what outfit formulas you like. You can see what silhouettes you like, what silhouettes you like to create. Maybe what silhouettes you don't like. And it can give you an idea if your personal style is still described the same or if you're feeling something different this year. So stay tuned. The first couple of outfits are going to be outfits that I created last year. And then I'm going to even dig back in the crate. You know, if you have Google Photos, I think most of us do. If you look back at some of the Google Photos outfits, you'll be surprised. So I even have one outfit that I think is hideous, but I'm still going to show it. Because, hey, why not? <laughs> We've all had a bad outfit. So this first look, I really like this look. This is, I'm wearing a plum Calvin Klein sweater dress, which is short sleeves. I have a wool vest, and I'm belting it. And I love the shawl collar. I love a shawl collar. That's just instantly elegant, luxurious. I like that silhouette. It has pockets, which who doesn't want to? Not only is it stylish but functional we as women we love the pockets ankle boots from aldo so i actually really like this look uh eight out of ten i would give this look an eight so what i would change is the belt i would like a wider belt or a belt that's just more substantial and i don't have a purse in this <laughs> i didn't pick a purse in this outfit and I really can't think of any purse in my wardrobe that I would style this outfit with. So I really need to, that's a wardrobe get for me, a purse. So that is the first look. And so like I said, 8 out of 10, most of that outfit I would wear the same. Now this look, I really like this look. This is a cohort set. It's really old. It's from H&M. And I just love the way it fits. I love the split in the front. And I put a mango pop. I believe it's called mango pop from Amazon. It's one of those body suits. I love blue. Blue is my favorite color. So I like to wear different shades of blue. So the, the darker blue against the lighter blue. So just think about that. I like the styling of this look. I also like the boots. These are also from Aldo. Super old, nice brown boots. And you can't see in this outfit, but there is a blocked heel. So it is feminine, but still a little casual with the blocked heel. I have this Banana Republic suede bag. This bag is so old. I got it sometime when I was in college. Probably a little bit after college. But I like this look. I have my sunglasses from Chloe. So I like this look. I would definitely recreate this look. This look to me is a 10 out of 10. I wouldn't change anything about it. So this is definitely a look that I'm going to catalog and try to recreate something similar for this new season. Whether it be I create the same silhouette but different colors. I might even wear this exact same outfit because I believe I have all those items still. So as you're going through this process, analyze what you like about the outfit what you don't like about the outfit and keep in mind those pieces so maybe you can create a similar look in the future that's a good way to always have something cute when you keep in mind the cute outfits so now this next look i like this this is casual but i'm not an overly casual person like i don't really like sneakers so in the winter i will wear boots some flat boots so i'm wearing some boots I have one of these wide leg jeans from Banana Republic. The same bodysuit from the previous outfit. This is a faux suede Banana Republic factory vest. And I just like this. We have a crossbody coach bag which has the light blue that matches the light blue in the bodysuit. And I like this look. I would give this look an 8 out of 10. I'm not really sure what I would do to make it a full 10. But I do like the color combinations. 
I do like the silhouette. So I, I would definitely wear this look again. Like I said, this is an 8 out of 10. I'm not really sure what would make it a 10 for me. But I love that look. Now this look, I actually remember wearing this. This seemed a little bit to me like a little bit. It's not the type of style I would normally wear. But it was something that I wanted to try. So the elements that I like, I like all of these pieces, but I don't like them styled together. So I like the oversized blazer, but I just think that the top should have been maybe like a bodysuit. Or maybe the blazer itself should have been more cinched in and fitted. I just think something should have been more fitted to the body, but everything seems a little loose. That's just how I'm seeing it. But I do like the various shades of nude. So I would definitely do that style other than again. But I just think I need something that's more fitted. I just felt like everything was a little too loose. And not enough glamour. I think that's another thing. My personal style is feminine, refined, and glamorous. I feel like this purse is very ladylike. The blazer gives it the refined look. But I don't really feel any glamour. And I think that's what's missing from this look to really make it something. So I would say this is probably like a six to me, for me personally. Average. So I need to I don't I'm not gonna do the same outfit combination again. If anything, like I said, maybe I would wear the base as in the turtleneck um top, the pants from um Zara. And a fitted blazer. I think that would be better. Now my next look. I actually like this look. So this is a little more fun. This is a mini skirt from J. Crew, A Banner Republic. Turtleneck. Aldo boots. Target bag. I like the silhouette. So I do like mini skirts. I don't have a lot of mini skirts. But I actually do like my legs. So sometimes if it's not a really cold fall day. This to me is when I'm on a date night with my husband. Or maybe like a ladies night out in the fall. And I'm just. I want to be cute. And a little dressy. But not bombshell. This is a good in between look. This is casual glam. But fall edition. <laughs> if you haven't been watching my casual glam series. If you haven't watched those outfits. I'll link those in the cards for you so you can go back and look at that. But I would say this is again an 8 out of 10. I really like this look. I would definitely wear this. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> now this next look I don't have a photo of. I just have the video from it. And what I like about this look is this sweater dress. This is a sweater dress from Banana Republic. And I like this color. It's cozy. It's comfortable. Sweater dresses are one of my favorite things to wear in the fall and winter. Especially winter, but in the fall as well. And I have this Michael Kors cardigan coat wrapped over it with some ankle boots. If anything about this look, I would probably wear some tights maybe with it. I know that sounds odd or maybe some socks. Just something to go with the ankle boots. I feel like it needed something else. And as far as a purse, I don't know what purse I would use. As you can tell, uh, handbags are a gap in my wardrobe. So that's definitely something that I'm going to make note of. So that going into this next fall and winter season, I can buy at least one or two purses. So that's that. Oh, and this next look. So this next look, I really like. If For those of you guys don't know. I lived in the South for many years, but I'm originally from New York. And so, a Yankee fitted. Like, come on, what else is there? So, I'm wearing this turtleneck body, I mean, turtleneck body. So, this turtleneck sweater dress from Joseph. I got it from Netta Porte. And it's warm, it's cozy. This is more of a winter piece, but if you have a fall day that's really frigid, then you can wear this. And I have this Michael Kors crossbody bag, Aldo ankle boots, we have a hoops, I'm wearing those hoops now actually, and my Banana Republic trench coat. So I like this look. This look to me is very 
Casual Glam. Again, fall edition. It's a nice sweet spot. This is a look if you are running errands. This is just the everyday run around look. It's very, it's, cla it's glamorous, but it's still casual. It's a little edgy, but I like it. This is as edgy as I get, I think. I don't do too much edge. So love that look. Now, <laughs> this next look is a look that I personally think is a horrible outfit <laughs> this is not an outfit that I would ever wear ever <laughs> so I was on Google photos and I came across this outfit now this outfit mind you is in 2013 so I was still in college and at the time I guess animal print must have been in because that's what I have. Animal print. So this outfit is very... I just think that it's very... It's not cute. <laughs> I don't like these pants. I would never wear these leopard pants. This jacket. I do like a leather jacket. I don't actually have one currently. I have, I have no leather jackets. I used to wear in college as you can see... I would have these faux leather jackets and I would get one every autumn and winter. And for some reason, I don't have one now. I guess because my style is not as sporty or not as edgy as it used to be. But I do like leather jackets. I like to make leather jackets more feminine. And so while I don't usually do a feminine with a... Um, edgy or feminine rocker oh I have to find a way to marry the two because I still do see leather jackets and I'm like oh, I like that but it's not fully my style and then I think now like how would I wear it so just think about that these leopard pants never I would never wear leopard pants nowadays I know that the at least I think at some point I don't know if it's still in but I know the mob wife uh look was a thing i know animal print was really in but this just looks so it's just not me it's so garish like i would not i would not wear these pants <laughs> i would not wear these pants now this next look the next two looks are looks that i would actually wear again so actually this is i have some audio for this part so we're gonna listen to the audio for this Today's clip. Today's outfit of the day. I have on a two-piece um, corset from Miss Guy. Gray. I prefer gray over black. I know. I've I still do. Uh, black is not one of my favorite colors to wear, so I have gray instead. Gray is my color over black. I definitely love different types of shades of gray. This is a light gray corset skirt set. Um, this is a brown. Kind of like a camel, maybe? Duster. I still love dusters. I just wish they had pockets. Some black now with chunky heel boots. And I'll be back in the next clip with my outerwear. Guys. So, this is an outfit that I would wear again. Now, <laughs> this was in 2018, I believe. This was in 2019. So not that long ago, I would wear the same outfit. I really would. What the differences would be is I would wear the same outfit. So the things that I would change is now I would have a duster with pockets. I will also have a different silhouette of the cord. I like the cord set a little baggy. I just think that it can fit. It could fit a little bit better. So maybe like this change of the silhouette, but still have a cool word set. Other than that, I like the look. I would still wear that again. I, again, don't even have a purse. I don't know what purse I wore at this time. I couldn't even tell you. And boots, as you can see, a chunky boot with, it's a wedge. And that's my style. I love it. Over the knee. Or knee high and we're in business we're automatically sexy so <laughs> I would wear this outfit 
again just those little different nuances just change the silhouette of the cord set now this next look is definitely a look I'll wear again this is a white sweater from Banana Republic and I also got a brooch. I don't know if you can see. Let me switch hands. A brooch from Zara. I still have that brooch. <laughs> I bought it a long time ago, so I know they don't have it anymore. Just a black skirt. Has a nice flare to it. Some Vince Camuto boots. They look just brown for some reason, but they really are more of like a Bordeaux or no. what color. Oxblood is my color for this season. This coach purse. So have that purse. No nice little contrast, black and white. But black honestly is not really a color that I'm drawn towards. So whenever I do wear black, I have to liven it up for me. I can't just do a all black everything look mm -hmm. and enjoy it. So I like the contrast between the black and white, and then I added some other details to make the outfit more rich. So the brooch. Just a plain um, white sweater. Even this sweater has nice divots or ruffles yes. or detailing. I wish I still had the sweater. Different color boots. Could have just went with black and then just simply black and white. I like to add color and texture um, and different patterns and prints to my. There you have it. Just the way I described that outfit, I still like to do the same thing. That was perfect. I would actually still wear this outfit to this day. I still wear brooches and I still have that same exact brooch. I need to get that bag clean, but I still have that bag. And it's funny that I was wearing Oxblood at that time because I know Oxblood is one of the colors that's in for the season, but Oxblood is the color that I like to wear most fall and winter. But it's hard to find certain colors if they're not on trend. So I do like that this is aligned with my personal style. And so I can now get more pieces that are oxblood colored. Again, this outfit, I like the textures. I like the little nuances of color that I added in. Different accessories. So I would honestly still wear this same outfit. And... The explanation for the outfit is the same way I would explain something now. It's my same thought process. Black, like I, I keep, I said in those two videos, is not my color. Gray, camo, and navy, those are more of the nudes that I like to wear. Black, uh, not so much. Not really my vibe. But yes, so I hope in watching this video, here are the takeaways. You want to analyze your outfits. Because analyzing your outfits helps you to see what silhouettes you like, whether they've changed or stay the same. Helps you see what color combinations you like, what colors you actually like, and just in general. As you can see, the colors that I like then, I still like now. You can point out some gaps in your wardrobe. If you haven't filled them yet, then they're still there handbags and several of these outfits you can see there's no ha handbag to be found i don't know what handbag i did <laughs> i used but i don't have a lot of handbags so that is a gap you can see when it came to the cord sets i still love cord sets i still enjoy them i wish the silhouettes were different in the cord sets that i chose but nonetheless i still like them so analyzing your outfits will help you see what's really your personal style these are outfits that you've worn already so analyze them. Analyzing them will help you see what elements of your style have changed. For example, some of those outfits you can see I had more of an edge element. Now my style is not as casual or edgy. It's glamorous, refined, and feminine. And what most people would describe as edge, I like to say unique. I like some unique elements or some dramatic elements sometimes, especially in the fall. But I do not necessarily say would say I like edge or rocker or more like cool girl. So do the same thing. Comment down below. Let me know if this is something that you've ever done. And join me in the next episode of Personal Style Development. This is going to be a series. 
the next three videos that I do are going to be focused on refining your personal style. So this was just episode one in the series. We starting out with what's the number one strategy to refine your personal style? That is to analyze older outfits.